this is snow elf magic. Incredible. So this structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Archcurate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim our as well. I know how it all sounds. But if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. Sounds fun. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. That's me. Uh, how many more Way Shrines are there? There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Uh, didn't I just go through Blackreach? Didn't I say I was having flashbacks? These caves must be massive. Caves? Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. Great. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. How heavy is it? So I need to fill this at each way shrine? Once you've located a way shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin, as if you've been enlightened. What if I have? I'll be off then, I guess. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. You're a freaking Otherwise, snow elf! Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. I have questions! I have quest. Oh, survive Darkfall Passage. Oh, that's a great quest. Yeah, survive what you're about to do. Oh, thanks, game. Alright, so I will definitely ask him uh, some questions, but first... Uh, ding. What does this one actually give me? Because it's a different blessing than Akatosh, isn't it? It is different. Um, <laughs> Marksmith. Well, okay. I guess that's a thing. It's a thing that I could have been. This is a quick escape. What is this way? Yeah, this is a quick escape. Wow, they camped right next to where they needed to go. Well, maybe that's where they wanted to go. I, I don't really know what their goals were around here. Those trolls? No. No, those are human skulls. Not particularly good at the rest of the anatomy, but I recognize a skull when I see one. Doesn't look like there's anything else going on. All right, I have questions for you, Mr. Like, freaking last of the snow elves, except for maybe your brother, who might also be dead. Questions? I expected as much. Who were your people? We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Fire Nation? Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. It appears you lost, my friend. In a manner of speaking. What? We had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, uh. they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Not now, Serana. Why did she just randomly walk in front of me? Yeah, you guys couldn't have all agreed to that. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. So... You guys could still talk, though, right? Like... Just because you're blind doesn't mean you can't talk. Serana, please, we're in the middle of a conversation. Uh, what turned your people into the betrayed, then? I've often asked myself that very same question. 
The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Side Certainly effect? not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. I don't think Serana is happy with this conversation. Apparently, that's all we're going to uh, to hear about. No, I have more questions about the Snow Elves. Screw this singular place. Tell me about your race. Uh, why weren't the Snow Elves here affected? What happened to the dwarves around here? Give me answers, damn it. The Chantry is quite isolated. So it took some time for word of the Dwarves' offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. So that's how you can still see? Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. You mean the betrayed? Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the inner sanctum. There are others here. There are others here like you. Like how many? How long have you been alive? I have so many questions that they're not letting me ask here. Vertha and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. You want me to kill one of them? Apparently, it's just the two of you. All right, what is the Chantry of Auriel? This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Auriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Most Snow Elves? Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cerebane, Yefray, and Finister rounded out the rest. Oh, of course. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. Serana. Uh, the way shrines are part of the Chantry then? Oh, yes. They were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. All right. Who are the spectral prelates you mentioned? They're ghosts of the Snow Elf priests that tended the way shrines before being slaughtered by the betrayed. Through the grace of Auriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. Good. They should be able to help us and not try to kill us. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. All right, I guess those are all the questions that I can ask the guy that's going to be the last snow elf. Like, seriously, that's it? That's all I get? I know there's a ton of lore behind this game, and this could be my entry into it, but they kind of just stop May me. Watch over you. Go read a book, you know? Uh, do I have the quest activated? I do survive Darkfall Passage. Quest. I expected as much. Alright, let's go through the portal. Oh, thank you about t for telling me about Solstheim. You could tell me more about the Snow Elves, though. That wasn't as unpleasant as I thought it would be. You're kind of soothing, actually. I feel a little warmer now. You're also a bit, like, darker. Nah, she's fine. What? Great, the the light plants are scared of me. Where'd you come from? Right there. What do you mean where did he come from? Like we saw him spawn. They did say survive this, didn't they? Is it a linear path here? What where'd you come from? Valmer! Just the one? Somebody gonna come out of this one? No, just the one. I'm gonna harvest your blood. I hope you're okay with that. If you're not okay with it, uh, just let me know. Who's there? A Falmer? <laughs> the betrayed. Like, can I go like talk to the guy? that's in charge of the library at Winterhold College about this. Can I talk to anybody about this?
Oh, she brought back to life. I'm like, there's another one. Where'd you come from? Oh, she she actually brought that. Oh, it's still alive. There we go. There we go. I wanted to loot the one you brought back to life. I don't think there's anything really going on around here. Why there are so many Falmer? I'm not really sure. Yeah, let's, uh, let's trip that. Who's there? I knew I think. Damn it! Stop! Don't reload into position. Did I take that bow? I didn't. Thankfully. That thing is not something that I care about. Ooh, lots of flawless in there. Ooh, ebony battle axe of debilitation. I got something better. It does sell for a bit. Nah, I got I got ebony. I don't really need money right now. Spawn? No spawn? Is there anything over here? What is this pathway? Did it just lead me in a circle? It did. I could have taken that pathway and avoided the trap and maybe the Falmer. Probably not, though. Solution of strength. Malign aversion to fire. That sounds nice. Not that I'll be using it. But it does sound nice. Who's there? Falmer. I knew I heard something. Yeah, there's Falmer. Could you, could you not hit me? What? What, what is that one? Is that... That's not a thing, is it? That's not like a super chowder, is it? Is there anything up here? Damn it, Falmer, why don't you hoard stuff like other people? See, that, that's once again the only Falmer that I really wanted to loot. And they're not letting me do it. You had to resurrect him, didn't you? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I knew I heard something. There's good stuff up back here somewhere. I just know it. Yeah, she can handle that. Shock, shock, resist fire. Prolonged invisibility. That sounds good. I knew I heard something. All right, let's go see how much she has taken out all by herself. She's almost got this. Almost. Done and done. There she goes. All right, let's see what uh, what she took care of here. Not as much as I was expecting. All right. Fledgling, right? But there were definitely Falmar over here. Take all that. We can keep that. A gloom lurker. She took that one out by herself. Um. Now you can keep your war axe. So yeah, she's you she's handling her own here. That's that's yours. It's really hard to tell which one's yours. You'll have to forgive me if I accidentally kill him one of these times. And eventually we will find where we need to go and we will kill that guy's brother. The second to the last of the snow elves. Who's there? I Falmer! I something. Treasure chest in the middle as I trip over a whole bunch of skeletons. All right, something's coming for me. Ow. Oh, that is a death trap. Too bad I am immune to death traps. Was there a thing there? Was it on the chest? Yeah, it looks like the chest. No, I'm not really seeing a trap on it. I should have known it was a trap. I kind of did. Just didn't really care all that much. Because it, yeah, that was the biggest, baddest trap that I've seen in the game so far. And it did uh, like 10% of my health. All right, what do we have here? I knew I heard something. How are you not dead? 
dead yet. And of course she brings the one that I wanted back to life. No, the gloom lurker's still in there somewhere. There he is. Didn't have anything I wanted anyway. Actually, the Falmer had more gold. All right, so what's with this thing in the middle here? What is, oh, the, the hands on the head. Not like attached to arms or anything. In fact, there's no arms here at all. Is there really nothing I can do with this? Oh, there's a chest over here. I mean, that's something. I was kind of distracted by this display. Resist fire. Potent magic potion. Extreme healing. It's like Mountain Dew levels of healing. But I think we're good here. Yeah, that was just you. All right. Further on we go. What is the? What are the glowing rocks? Something's gonna drop out on me. There's way too many Falmer nest things here. No? Not a one. Just your little buddy. This is a very strange place. But eventually we'll make it to the end. Remember that there were supposed to be prelates along the way that what helped me. Out? A shadow master? <laughs> a long time since I've seen something of your level. <laughs> Oh, just the chowers in there. She can handle that. Where you did not. Oh, I hit him. No, you knocked him way the hell over here. I did not do that. He didn't even have anything good on him anyway. She's got it. She's got it. All right, up to level 99. On the heavy armor. That is what I like to see. Just one more and we can max that out. And by max it out, I mean make it legendary so I can get levels again on it. I like that. I like that. We're getting there. Very close to making something legendary. I get an achievement for that too. But it also sounds worthwhile. Ooh. Class boots. They look fancy. They are not for me. All right, um, head through the waterfall. What do we got on the other side here? Tripwire. Anything over here? Not on the tripwire. Another tripwire. All right, don't step on those. She stepped on them. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going here. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I go the other way. Maybe the other way was the secret way. Oh, skeleton. I don't seem to have a problem with the traps. She does. She is not able to always make it. Oh no, they both seem to equally secret to me. Well, I guess this is the secret. <laughs> kind of stops right here. Who's there? Have we actually seen a full-fledged Chowrus hunter? We only see the fledgling, but have we seen the hunter? No? I thought I, thought I heard a trap. Apparently I was wrong. Potion of healing, vigorous healing. Thought Where'd you come from? I was wondering why that uh, second one didn't spawn. Just not close enough to it yet. All right, that seems to be the trick here. Yeah, it leads to the same spot, so we will continue on, and we will eventually find one of those prelates, and we will learn more about the Falmer. I don't know if Falmer are necessarily new in this game, like they made their debut here, but I definitely don't remember seeing them in either Oblivion or Morrowind. So I, I am interested in what they actually have. 
to say about those. Extreme healing. I was about to say, there's nothing there. Two extreme healing potions. I'll take that. Then again, I haven't had to drink a potion in, like, two sessions now. Oh, Darkfall Passage Note 2. Let's take a look at that. Strange why the cursed have set up so many traps near the stone barrier. I'm going to rest for a bit, not take any chances. They set up those traps for a reason, or I'm not go about to go rushing in to find out why. Just going to sit here, regain my strength, and possibly try and use the traps to my advantage. So... Like, they made it this far? Full chains and traps. Be careful here. Whatever's on the other side of this, Palmer wanted to keep it there. This is what their, uh, their pull chains look like. That's a fake thing, isn't it? Is that real? It's real. Where'd you come from? A veil saber cat. That one's new. I'm taking your hide simply because you're new. A veil saber cat. I should probably stay away from that. It said poison and it started to shake at me. That Are can't be good this? thing. It's fantastic. This place is huge. Oh, we got a skeleton. Yeah, this place is uh, definitely large. Let me guess, related to the Black Reach. I just hope this is not another place that I'm just going to have to explore again off screen, like the Soul Cairn and the Black Reach. What happens if I stand here too long? There we go. I assume that's poison. <coughs> is that. Was that Serana coughing? <coughs> I don't think that was me. It was kind of hard to tell, though. It sounded like me, but I, I wasn't in there. It's also a strange uh, deer of some kind. Is this considered like a veiled deer? Fine. <laughs> Veil deer, I called it. I'm taking one of your hides. You can live, though. You can live. Don't worry. It's fine. I, I just... It's purely for scientific purposes. I'm gonna go that way. What do we have up here? Nothing. Like, literally nothing. 